I'm gonna put this right here. And wow, we're good. All right, perfect. Here he goes. Perfect, right there. All right, here we go, you guys. What we've been waiting for, a thousand fish. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys, welcome back to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today, we just got a box in from the shipping place that just got here overnight from Amazon Prime. And I'm gonna show you guys what I do when you buy a big quantity of fish to use for all around here at the ranch. Or even if you guys have monster fish and you guys want to hold fish for a longer period of time and you need somewhere to keep them for a long period of time, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it the cheap, easy DIY way right now inside of this brand new building. So uh, let's get inside of there, open these fish. Hopefully they are still alive and uh, let's get this going. So we just got inside of the building. This building is an absolute mess now. There's stuff everywhere because I have the electricians here doing all kinds of stuff in here, getting things done for the building so we have electricity. There is already a little bit of electricity in here, so that is really, really good. So that's how we're gonna do and set up this little DIY of a fish bait saver, fish feeder spot, so that whenever you wanna go out into your backyard or everything, scoop some fish and feed your monster fish, you have a bunch of fish there right there for you. I bought all these fish for a very cheap amount of a deal that was on Amazon. You just gotta look on like prices and there's like little giveaways and things on there all the time. And I bought a thousand fish you guys a thousand little rosy fish right here and this is prime food for my alligators my caimans my arapaima my stingray just as a treat pretty much just so they can chase around the food a little bit more so right over here don't don't worry about that that's put those post notifications on oh uh, right here we have everything right here i bought it from walmart this whole little deal right here i spent no more than 50 dollars with the fish probably another 25 dollars but like I said, that was a thousand fish that are inside of there. Hopefully they're alive. I haven't even opened it up yet. So right here we have a little plant. One going to go there. We have one here. We got one here. We got a little teeny filter right here. So that is prime. So let me open this bad boy up. Set this little thing right on the side so we had some little filtration in there to take care of the fish, right? This is prime little guy right here. So easy little thing. They just sell it all at Walmart. Look at that. Perfect. Open this thing up. We actually have some rocks as well for the bottom so it's not so like plain. The fish are just a little, little more happier before they, uh, unfortunately, get eaten. But yeah, that's the end result for these fish. But let me open this thing up. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. So we got this right here. What the heck is going on in there? Got that. Sure. Sure. There you go. All right. Perfect. Cool. Awesome. So we got that right there. Let's open this thing up. And this is just pretty much showing you guys everything, how to do this. And then right here, I got a little bit of safe start fish stuff as well, just so that the water is perfect so the fish don't die, anything of that sort. Got little air bubbler stones right here because I got an air pump as well, just so that there's more aeration here because like I said, this is only, what is this? Maybe a 30 gallon little pool pond that was actually, it's an end of year sale because once it starts becoming winter at the Walmarts and anywhere in the United States, the pools go down in price, so shh, don't tell people that. And normally this thing is probably like $25, and now you can buy it for $5, probably even cheaper throughout the year when it gets dropped in price. So I'm gonna put this right here, and wow, we're good. All right, perfect. We got that right there. We got this plug right here. Shh, shh. Ready? Let's see if it's loud. Maybe it's not on yet. Maybe you need some water first. Keep that right there. All right, so let's open this one up too. We have a little air bubble. There we go. We got a little air stone thingy right here. Put that to the side too. Let's see if it works with this now. See if it turns on. If not, I know. It's on. Okay. So that pretty much just tells me that this little bad boy needs some water. So when we put water in it, we're good. So I'm going to grab a bucket real quick. We have a bucket right there. I'm going to grab some water from that pool pond, fill this bad boy up, add the rocks in here, and then we're going to be able to put all of these amazing feeder fish inside of here. These feeder fish are not goldfish, they're not common, so anything of that sort. They're minnows, they're actually rosy red minnows, and those are actually more nutrient better than any goldfish and things of that sort. The goldfish are really just not good fish for your animals, it's just there's no protein in it at all. But um, yeah, let me go scoop some of this stuff up. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. All right, oh, oh, I don't wanna fall in here. Perfect. So let's 
do this. So look, you guys, this is a five gallon bucket. So let's see how many gallons this thing really is. So that's, that's one and it's not even close to the filter yet. So let's speed this process up and see how many we gotta do. So that's one. That's two. Three, 15 gallons. That's four. And five, 25 gallons. I'm gonna keep it right there, and that's perfect. So, let's grab these rocks, place all the rocks in the bottom of this pond, and probably move the filter more into the middle so that it doesn't hang off to the side too much, because I think it needs to be more into the water. We'll figure that out in just a sec. So these rocks as well, it's a river rock, little small river rock, got all these at Walmart, and this was just under $6 as well, so we're gonna put all that in there. There we go. Perfect. All right, it's all in there. So, shake these plants around. Stick that there. Just wrap it all around everywhere. So the whole bottom will be brown. Let's see if this filter will turn on. Fill it up with water. I think if I keep it right there to the side, it'll do better. So let's check this out. Uh oh, I hear it. Here it goes. Perfect, right there. We got a little bit of air filter right there, a little bit of bubbling, so that is perfect. That's gonna give oxygen to this thing. But just to make it a lot better so that there's more oxygen in here so these fish do well because this thing is not a massive area but this is a lot better for like somebody with a small patio or something of that sort that needs to hold a bunch of feeder fish you can do this and to have it for extra oxygen for these fish to live a lot longer and more active so your predator fish can chase these fish faster you use an aerator right here and you're gonna add a couple bubbles in here so what i'm gonna do is i gotta get a tube that i have over there add this bubbler and put it on that side so it's two complete opposite ways and there we go so let's do it but before we do that, let's add these fish inside of here because these fish need to get out of that box. So let's do it. Actually, before we do that, these are just feeder fish. I know they'll survive without a problem. They're very, very hardy kind of fish. But this right here is a safe start. It treats up to 20 gallons. As you guys saw, we did five buckets. So that is pretty much 25 gallons of water, but they weren't completely filled up to the top. So putting this whole thing in here will be prime and make the fish alive and perfect without a problem. So just gonna put it all through here. There you go. And let it open up with air. Do it again. Perfect. And that's to take all the ammonias and everything out of there. But I do not live on city water. This is well water. And so when it's well water, I do complete water changes with all my fish with just straight hose water. So this is just really preventing anything for these fish. But I know these fish will do perfectly fine without a problem. For somebody that lives in the city or things of that sort that has city water, I would definitely probably set this up first for about two days before you purchase your fish. But because I know I have well water, I wouldn't have any situations here without a problem. So for now, what you guys been waiting for, all these live fish, hopefully they're live. They've only been here now for about an hour and a half inside this bucket, well, inside of this box. So uh, check it out, you guys. Let's clean up a little bit, get this area prepped and ready. You guys, so I'm gonna open this thing up real quick. Let's see how they packaged it so that we know. All right. All right, here we go, you guys. What we've been waiting for, a thousand fish. Whoa, that's pretty good. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of fish, you guys. We got a thousand rosy reds in here. Normally when you go to the store, that's like the whole tank at the place. We bought a thousand, you guys, so it's one giant bag. Oh, and only a little bit of water for a lot of oxygen. And not one of them is floating, you guys. That is insane. 1,000 rosies, not one of them dead. That is freaking awesome. Overnight, Amazon Prime came right to my door. I mean, look at that. Now we're gonna have feeder fish for 
the arapaima for a couple days, the stingray for a couple days. For my situation, I have a lot more fish, but for somebody that only has a couple little baby, small fish, monster fish that are raising up, you buy this, this is gonna last you two weeks without a doubt. And look at this, you guys. That is insane. My God, that's a lot of fish. That's cool, that's really cool. So let's open this bag up, you guys, and let's put them inside of this DIY little fish saver holder, thinking of bobber to keep your feeder fish so that you have somewhere to hold a big quantity thing of fish for your predatory fish, so let's do this. All right, so we're opening up the first bag. There's two bags, so it doesn't break just in case. So we're gonna open this first one real quick, and then we're gonna see the second one. Ugh. There we go. Ooh. Like a little cold packs in there. They prepped this thing good, you guys. They prepped it really, really good. But look at that one more time. 1,000 rosy reds in here, you guys. That is absolutely insane. How many are in there? Look at that picture right there. Oh my God. That's awesome. That's crazy. So we're gonna open this bad boy up and release them all inside of here. So let's do it. The fish are obviously right there in the bag. So before we put them inside of the water, I wanna, I need to get this bubbler on so that these fish are just right into all that oxygen without a problem. So I'm gonna plug this thingy in. There we go. Plug that in right there. Cool, so that's in right there. Grab one of these air stones. This was 50 cents. There we go, perfect, perfect. Put that right there. All right, so should be bubbles now. Bubbles, perfect. So I'm gonna keep this right on this side and then I'm gonna throw that over there. And there we go, we got bubbles on that side, we got bubbles on this side, this thing, is ready to go. So it is finally the time to put this thousand fish inside of this little. So like I was just saying, it is time to move all of these fish inside of this DIY little pool pond right here. I got myself a net because as you know, you don't wanna put this water inside of here just in case because then all the ammonia and everything from that they're creating inside of the bag could go in there and just make the water toxic and that water is prime ready to go. So I'm gonna grab this bad boy, bring it over here. Actually, what I'm really gonna do is grab this five gallon bucket, put them all inside of here, and then I'll be able to dump it out without a problem. So let me pop this open. There you go. Let it undo like that. There you go. So you guys ready? Get all this water. Man, if you look inside that bucket, they're all gonna go in there. Oof. Oh, there's still more. That was all of them. So a whole other 500 left to go in there. My goodness. And look at that, you guys. I just opened the bag. Not one of them are floating. That is insane. Thousands of rosies, you guys. That's Whoa. crazy. 1,000. Well, 1,000. <laughs> Whatever. I'm sorry. 1,000. You're right. I said that already. 1,000 rosies in here. I don't know whoever count this is. That's insane. I'm not counting them, but... All right, so, high plane. Let's uh, dump them all inside of there and put them inside this water. So I'm gonna take some of this water out and introduce the other water in there so we can just dump them in very, very slowly. Perfect. That's insane. That's a lot of rosies. My God. All right, they are in there you guys that is crazy so let's dump these bad boys inside of here that's just a little bit of water that's barely anything it'll just be perfectly fine with this like i said these are just feeders i would never do this with big fish or things of that sort or fish that i really really cared about these were all going to get consumed in the next couple of days but let's do this you guys let's do it ready all right so here we go there they go. My God. Woo! All right, go, 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 go. They're all out. And 
They're just freaking going absolutely insane in here. Well, we should have probably gotten a different color of rocks because now as you guys can see, the roses just blend perfectly inside of all of these rocks. I really didn't think about that. Well, now you learn. If you guys do this and you guys get roses, make sure you get pink or blue rocks, not brown rocks. Not make it natural because you make it natural color, the roses just blend in inside of there. But we have a massive school of rosy reds right here. Who knows, maybe, we, I don't know how big rosies get. Maybe they get a little bigger. I never even read about them, to be honest. So maybe we can just keep them in here and just like feed them a little bit, throw some out for the animals and keep them in here. And we just have like a little school of rosies in here and see if we can make the world record rosy growth inside of a mini pool pond. But um, for today's post notification shout out, I haven't done these for a little while. We've been very, very, very busy here but I need to get back on doing that for you guys. So I'm gonna figure one out right now and shout one of you guys out. For today's post notification shout out goes to Christine. Keep up the great work. So glad you're able to do what you love. Can't wait to see that barn up and running and doing its thing. I cannot wait for this barn to be pretty much completely finished. There is so much time, work, and sweat that I have to put inside of this amazing building, but we're inside of it, you guys. We actually started this. And the crazy thing about it is that we're playing with a 25 gallon little feeder pond right here. And the things that's gonna be put inside of here are gonna be out of this world. Things that you probably have never seen in your life. Like I've said, you guys, put those post notifications on, you guys. Lake's Exotic Animal Ranch is gonna surprise you guys. Incredibly, it's gonna be insane. Subscribe to the channel. We're about to hit 600,000 subscribers. And I hope you guys learned something here today at the ranch. Something small, something easy. Anybody could do this inside of an apartment, inside of a house. Just something small so that you guys can raise up some rosy reds, have some small fish in here. You can even do this for other kinds of fish. You can put a catfish in here if you wanted. You can put a clownfish in here if you wanted to. Um, a knifefish, not a clownfish. Um, anything really. And like I said, what I'm using this for, if you guys just got onto the video for the last second of the video, we are putting all these fish inside of here so that we can feed all of my fish all throughout the ranch so I don't have to go to the store so, so often. And everything is just right here in my building. Scoop up and just feed. Again. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out, everybody.